My oh my, a butterfly, all about butterflies by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat. If you look in the sky, you might see a butterfly fluttering by. They are colorful insects whose lives you will see are very exciting. Come on, follow me. Right here in your yard, if you look, you might spot a butterfly egg. It's a little round dot. It sticks to a leaf. Rain won't wash it away. Right here on this leaf is where it wants to stay. You may think in these eggs, there are small butterflies, but wait till they hatch and you'll get a surprise. Caterpillars hatch out of a butterfly's egg. They look like small worms and may have 16 legs. They start chewing and grow and growing and chewing. And that's about all that they spend their time doing. They eat first their eggshells. Then it's leaves that they need. They eat all the time and they grow with great speed. This caterpillar has grown too big for its skin. It needs bigger skin than the skin it's been in. So it takes a deep breath, then it wobbles and wiggles. Its skin starts to split as it joggles and jiggles. The old skin falls off and right there underneath is new, bigger skin that's been hiding beneath. It eats the old skin. Oh yum, how delicious. Protein in the skin makes it very nutritious. After the first time it sheds all its skin, the next stage of a butterfly's life will begin. It hangs upside down like a small letter J, and for a few hours, it hangs there that way. Then it changes again. The next stage is this, a shell forms around it called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar keeps changing. All of its body parts are rearranging. For almost 10 days, it can't move and can't eat. Then one day, the butterfly's change is complete. A tiny black leg begins to poke through. Within seconds, another leg pops into view. She bursts into the air, a bright new butterfly. Her wings are so soft that at first she can't fly. She must wait till they harden, till then she must stay. If an enemy comes, she cannot fly away. Her antenna starts working to sense what's around her, the motions, the smells, and the sights that surround her. In hours, her new wings get harder and so she is ready to fly. She is ready to go. See these two caterpillars? They're different. Here's why. One will soon be a moth. One a bright butterfly. One makes a chrysalis and now we know inside it a butterfly is starting to grow. One spins a cocoon like a blanket to hide it. And then a new moth begins growing inside it. Spiders, frogs, beetles, birds, lizards, and mice think bright butterflies for a snack are quite nice. Every butterfly knows birds are trying to catch it. Its wobbly flight makes it harder to snatch it. Butterflies are so light. This will show you how many you will need just to equal the weight of a penny. They see thousands of pictures. If one looked at me, here is a drawing of what it will see. We have a new hobby we just started trying. It's fun and it's free and it's called butterflying. We look to find butterflies. They're everywhere in our yard, near a stream, on the ground, in the air. We write down the day and the time that we saw them. We write down the place, then take crayons and draw them. 
When you find butterflies, there are ways you can see by the size, shape, and color what kind they might be. Butterflies get their names from all different things. Swallowtail butterflies have long tails on their wings. Here is a lace wing. Its wings look like a lace. This owl butterfly looks like a baby owl's face. Which one is the smallest? It's the pygmy blue. A bird's wing is largest. It's beautiful too. These are the monarch. Just watch them in flight. They have orange and black wings with small dots of white. They can't live in cold weather, so somehow they know they must fly where it's warmer, like to Mexico. They fly hundreds of miles. They fly hours and hours. They stop just to rest and sip nectar from flowers. Monarchs hide in a storm when the thunder is crashing. They know they're in danger when lightning is flashing. Monarchs fly for weeks till they finally see in the Mexican forest an oil mill tree. They fly to the tree and then just before dark, they land and they hook their small legs in the bark. Without the sun's warmth, they got too cold for flight, so they huddle together to wait out the night. In the spring, when it's warm, monarchs lift off from the trees. They flutter and swoop and they dance in the breeze. Now that it's warmer, these butterflies know they must mate and lay eggs so new babies can grow. Once a female has made it, it's hard to go on. She will not live much longer. Her time's almost gone. She is carrying eggs. They are heavy. That's why she cannot get back home. It is too far to fly. So she searches for leaves and lays eggs one by one. She lays hundreds of eggs and won't stop till she's done. Butterflies are surprising and beautiful things as they soar through the air on their bright color wings. They're like jewels in the sun. They live just a short while, but whenever you see one, you can't help but to smile. For you know, on a leaf, if you look, you may find an egg that a butterfly just left behind. And in this egg, small as the head of a pen, a new butterfly life is about to begin. The end.